ladies and gentlemen, today on the report from Tiger Mountain, I'm with Dan in Stockholm Syndrome. We're going to talk about that. Hang around. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the report from Tiger Mountain. We're going to talk about uh, I'm with Dan. So many people, are, I think still 60% of people in Victoria still support Daniel Andrews. Um, it's insane. We're in the middle of a kind of rollout of a New World Order kind of event. It looks like Boris Johnson in the United Kingdom is going to lock down uh, the UK for something like six months. Clearly, this is not going away. Um, clearly, uh, where it does go away is in a country like Sweden, where they went for herd immunity, and it hasn't come back. There's been no second wave. There's been no third wave. It's absolutely ridiculous. But here in Victoria, uh, I'm with Dan is the, is the thing. I mean, there still seems to be a lot of people in Victoria who support Daniel Andrews. It's absolutely extraordinary at this time that this is happening. But it is, it shows, it goes to show the power of brainwashing and the media and how people really are just, um, you know, slaves, you know, they've become slaves. And they have a kind of Stockholm, syn Stockholm syndrome in relation to Daniel Andrews. And they, and they think, they, they just think, oh no, you know, they've been so scared by media that they'll go along with anything he says. And this is exactly what our Lord and Masters up at, um, uh, you know, the, the Rothschilds, the New World Order, um, Soros, all these people, that's exactly what they want. And this is exactly what they've been uh, working towards. I watched this fascinating video on, on the weekend by Glenn Beck, where he said that, you know, when he worked at Fox, he was not supposed to mention the name of, of George Soros. Um, and because uh, he, that he himself had spoken to George Soros and that George Soros famous quote was in relation to all this is, the, you know, the boat has, uh, the boat has left, the, the left the platform. Basically, the train has left the platform. The agenda of the New World Order has already begun and there's nothing we can do to stop it. And it is quite terrifying that we are in this situation. And it's very fascinating that we see in Victoria, um, you know, there is an extreme uh, kind of uh, totalitarianism being um, implemented here uh, in Victoria. And it's going to be one day soon. I probably won't be able to do these videos because Daniel Andrews wants to bring in um, laws that essentially silence free speech altogether or anyone who questions what's going on in relation to COVID-19. So we're going to have to probably go into what's called interior exile, which is something that happened in the Soviet Union when you were a dissident and you basically just had to shut up or the government would essentially either throw you in a gulag or uh, I'll kill you. So that's the situation we're facing. It's absolutely extraordinary. Within the kind of, uh, within eight months, we're in this situation, but it seems to be happening and it seems to be real and it's absolutely terrifying. Thank you for watching the report from Tiger Mountain. Thank you.